Uh, today we're going to take a look at two and three dimensional figures uh, and their key terms that go along with them. So first thing is we have a polygon. A polygon is some sort of closed in figure with sides. Closed in figure with sides. Uh, so you might ask, isn't that everything? Not necessarily. So a circle is not a polygon because it doesn't have it's closed in figure yes but it doesn't have sides that go along with it um okay leading up to our next two uh a polygon has two different main parts or main components to it we have the sides and we have the vertex where we say vertex a and we'll say side in this case the ad um and notice that we put just that straight line, uh, no endpoints, no arrows, just because that thing stops. Uh, with further deeper within this, we have to, we can classify these even more by saying one's convex and one's concave. Starting with concave, I like the, the part of this word that says cave. A cave is something that like a bear goes into. With these two figures, one of them has a cave created within them right here. We call this polygon a concave because uh, it has a vertex that's on the inside of our polygon. Uh, our first one over here, A, B, C, D, uh, is just a convex because all of our vertices are on the outside or on the edges. Um, to, if you have, now these next two terms, they look very, very similar. Equilateral, equiangular. We have to look at the back half. And I guess even, let's take a quick look at that. Equi is kind of like saying equal. I'm looking for equal angles or equal lateral, it's gonna mean sides. So equal sides, uh, when you, all of your sides of your polygon, if they happen to be the same and all congruent to each other, we call that an equilateral polygon. If all of the angles measure the same, we then call that an equiangular polygon. Now, when you have both equilateral, same sides, and equiangular, same angles, within a polygon, we call that a regular polygon. So taking both of these, put them right there. That's a regular polygon. Now, if you do not have equal sides or congruent sides, if you do not have equal angles or congruent angles, it's not regular, or we say it's irregular. What we got going on up here, both of these are called irregular polygons. Now, that's a two-dimensional two side. What about three-dimensional sides? Well, when it comes to three dimensions, we have, this, we have this figure called a polyhedron. A polyhedron is just a solid with all flat surfaces. A solid with all flat surfaces. So could like a can of soda be considered polyhedron? No, because of that circular edge. It's not flat. So polyhedron. Now, within the polyhedrons, we can split this up into two classifications. One's a prism, one's a pyramid. A prism, you're going to have two, uh, two parallel congruent faces. Two parallel, so if we're looking at this cube, top side of the cube, bottom side of the cube, they're parallel to each other. And they're all connected by different kinds of parallelogram faces. Um, so... All our sides are parallel with each other. Um, we call that a prism. So two pairs, or two, I'm going to shorthand this, parallel congruent faces uh, connected by parallelogram faces. Okay, uh, a pyramid though, this one's a little different. We have a polygon, like what we have over there, of three or more, and it has three or more triangle faces. So we have a polygon uh, with three or more triangle faces, and they all meet at a single vertex. Now, like with a regular polygon where we had equal sides, equal angles, we have something called a regular polygon, or 
yeah, regular regular polyhedron. It's when all the faces are regular and all the edges are congruent. You get a regular polyhedron. When all your faces are regular and all the edges are congruent. So really, a cube, regular polyhedron. Uh, and that is two and three dimensional figures in their key terms.